Cold duck time. It has two chords that we're looking at. It has an F7 chord and a B flat 7 chord. So the bass would just play F and B flat and would alternate between those. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It might jump around a bit later on, something like F. But it's always aiming for this F or this B flat. The chords can be played with the right hand or left hand, it does not matter. Um, an F7 chord, which is the first chord of this, is F, A, C, a regular F chord, major, and now we're adding a 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it's a flat 7 whenever you say 7, so it's an E flat. F, A, C, E flat. That's as low as I would play that, otherwise it sounds really muddy. It's no good down there. Um, the next chord is a B flat 7. B flat D F B flat major plus a flat seven and A flat. So those are the chords, and it's going to go back and forth. F two three four one two three four one two three four. Now you don't need to jump around as much. That's what I well a jazz player would not do it. Eventually they're looking for something smoother. So to get it smoother. Jazz players realize the bass is playing the root, the F and the B flat. So we already don't need to play the F right down here. We can just play these chords. And it's already better. The fifth is another note you don't need to play. It's just taking our ears here even if we don't play it. So if we want to play an F chord, an F7, we just need the third, which would be F, A, C, and the seventh, the E flat. Those two make that chord special. The B flat chord, you need the D and the A flat. Doesn't matter which order you do it in. If you choose it here and play the D A flat here, two, three, four. Now when you go to the F chord, you play the E flat A here. And see how smooth that is. Now if you really wanted to sound funky and jazzy, I would add one more note. This is a 13th, but really just for now, get it in your head. It's an E flat A D. It's got some nice tension, but it sounds great. And then for the B flat chord, we have the D and the A flat like we talked about. But now I'm gonna add a C. So that's the background. Now, if you wanted to play melody or solo, then the left hand would play the chord. And that's enough. If you want to play F, back and forth with those. But you can add the D and the C to both chords respectively. We're now ready to look at the form of the song. Hopefully you can hear it on this piano. It goes F7, B flat 7, F7, B flat 7, F7, B flat 7, F7, B flat 7, and it stops on that last B flat 7. So I'm gonna say there's an eight bar introduction, but the last bar there's a break, getting ready for the new section. So here's the F chord, one, two, three, four. B flat. Once you get to the melody, it continues that way again. We have another eight bars of F, B flat, F, B flat. One, two, three. Now, after those eight bars, there are a few more chords to learn. One is a D flat major seven chord. D flat's there. D flat major is D flat, F, A flat, and C. So we have, it's a very beautiful chord. It's like a major, but we have a major seven sticking on. So it's really spacey and beautiful. So you have this chord, and you take that up a whole step to an E flat major seven, and then you land on the F seven again. 
like that, E flat, it sounds really grindy. If how I would play that, instead of playing the root, because that's already in the bass, I would play it like an F minor seven chord. F, A flat, C, A flat for the D flat. Then it looks like for the E flat major seven, I would play a G minor seven chord. G, B flat, D, F, and the third and seventh are the important notes, they're there. And then you're on the F chord. And you finish. So the whole front half, the, once you get to the melody, but do ba ba F two three four B flat two three. Now here comes that D flat major seven. E flat major seven, and we stop two three four one. So, the melody uses the F minor pentatonic scale. That means we're starting on an F, and then we go up to the A flat, it's minor, B flat, C, E flat. Those notes. You can go higher. If you do, I recommend F, A, B flat. Switch your thumb behind to the C. Play the E flat with your first finger. Thumb switches to an F if you're going higher. So your thumb is always on an F or a C. And it gets easy to run around on it. Make it your friend, work hard, because you'll use it for all kinds of solos. It'll be really great. The melody starts on a C, and it's a pickup. It's on beat two, but the second half. So three, four, one, two. So that's C, E flat, F, A flat. Then it goes the same C, E flat, F, but a low A flat. And then it does the same thing, but continues up C, E flat, F, A flat, B flat, C, and you'll see C, E flat, A flat, B flat, A flat, F, E flat, F. And it repeats that again exactly. Looks like it'll repeat again, but it goes to a long A flat. See E flat, F, A flat. Two, three, four, F. Two, three, four, F. That is the entire melody. You can do it in two hands, you can put it in octaves. Once you have it, you start putting the chords down. Remember you just need an E flat and an A flat, and you can add the D if you want, but that's enough. And you're just going up and down by semitones to the chords. So two, three, four, one, two. Exactly the same 12 bars for a solo. Um, you have the ending, two, three, to the E flat minor, and we stop. Good luck.